And from Lagos, we move to Kwara State, where Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak and his deputy have also been sworn in for a second term in office. Abdurrazak promised to consolidate the gains of his first tenure with focus on the completion of the ongoing projects across the 16 local government areas of the state. Ladies and gentlemen, the next four years will consolidate the gains of the first tenure and lay a new foundation for sustainable socioeconomic development and institutional growth. We are going to deepen the reforms and investment in critical sectors like education, healthcare delivery, civil service welfare, social safety programs, general infrastructure upgrade and renewal, focus expansion of our economic base, and promotion of our political culture that advances self-reliance and growth. Residents of the state, however, encouraged the governor to embark on more programs that would alleviate poverty and unite the people. We want to encourage the governor to consolidate what he started four years ago. He initiated a lot of development and it will be good if we can build on those developments and then start a new one, especially on things that will alleviate people's poverty, so that people will be able to know that they, they have a government that caters for them. So with this, with all of us supporting him, praying for him, we are very much sure that he will be successful. And by the grace of God, the second term in office will be better off than the first term. He knows the next stage, the next phase. Uh, he said it all that he's going to consolidate. So just want the government to consolidate on his achievement in the first time. You know, in education, in health sector, in infrastructure development, in uh, human capital development, and all the areas. So just want him to consolidate, to sustain that achievement. He has performed credibly well in his first tenure, and we want to encourage more, especially programs that are aimed at unifying the different bodies within the state. The governor must see himself as the father of all religions and particularly put in place programs that will encourage youth and the young coming leaders to be more focused and to contribute their part towards the growth and the development of our state of harmony. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.